Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, Repentance. Where today, we're gonna play a little bit of greedier mode with Cain to start with. Because who doesn't love Cain, who doesn't love growth hormones from the get-go, and the peeper, of course, being, uh, well, it'll deal some damage probably, so that's pretty nice. We got... Not superb items in my shop so far, but one of them is on sale, so that could at least lead to something. And also, Kane starts with a key, so at least we got that going for us. Um, Health-wise, a little low. Burning basement, which is never really the most fun that one can have, but hopefully it's going to be okay. There's always hearts for sale, there's always... Buttons to press if things go too awry, but preferably we don't want to mess around here too much. Really just want to hurry this up as much as possible. But the fact that we got growth hormones does at least bode well. The fact that I got hit by the champion specifically there is not great. But hopefully we can make this work. As long as we can just clear out these waves as quickly as possible, then we should be fine. But if I get hit by another champion, I'm going to be dead. So... That's not ideal, uh, and if enemies get that close, then there's also a good chance I'm just going to die to something else, which is, again, not ideal. But we are clearing these waves fairly quickly otherwise. I might buy a heart from the shop after uh, we're done with the waves here, just in case. Might just buy the health up instead. Oh, God. And uh, one wave being just a bunch of bombs did make life a little bit easier in terms of not dying so at least we got that going for us uh, buying this immediately doesn't seem like the best idea just because i can't really use it very much i could buy a bomb and then blow up those two shopkeepers since one does have coins in his eyes and that could give me a little bit more money than it ends up being worth but it's uh well we didn't lose anything either so i suppose that's fine in the end of the day and hopefully we can get some money from these remaining two waves it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Hopefully we can kill this boss before the second boss arrives, but that can be fairly tricky, even with growth hormones, but we should be pretty close at least. Oh god, it's Monstro. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate, but we should be able to clear this one out before really having to deal with Monstro at least, so... Yeah, it could have been worse. I mean, Larry Jr. probably would have been preferable, especially since Monstro decided to spawn a whole bunch of enemies as well. But ultimately, it's fine. It doesn't doesn't really matter too much. And uh, once we make it past the basement, it is going to just be a little bit easier just because basement on this mode is weirdly difficult compared to all the other floors in the game. So at least so far, things are looking pretty good. Only the Devil Deal wave remains, which is two Duke of Flies. And they're not really too big of a deal when you can kill these flies in one hit. And thanks to growth hormones, we have that option. So... One of them will be dead in just a second here, and the other one is actually getting hurt fairly decently by the eye, weirdly enough. So, some decent damage in there by an, uh, a projectile that effectively is uncontrollable, and I'm pretty happy about that. Given my health situation, I don't think I'm going to go for Devil Deal, so I'm just going to leave that alone to get that guaranteed Angel Room. A um, little tempted to go for the Curse Room, just so I can get the uh, health up afterwards and then just leave. I'm also a little tempted by the Spelunker hat as well, just in case something else is on sale after. And there's the clicker, which I'm not too interested in. Just gonna check if we can actually get into our secret room, and uh, it does appear to be next to the room over here. So I feel I might as well check it out, and then maybe we can go to some of the secret rooms that we find onwards on the floors ahead. And hopefully it's going to be worth more than we end up losing. It's, well, it's three keys for the price of one bomb. I'd argue that was already worthwhile just because we don't have to spend 15 coins on keys. So all in all, pretty good deal so far to actually know where the secret rooms are. This is really nice. That's not terrible just because my speed is pretty high. Uh, especially because of the growth hormones. This is all right, but it doesn't really do that much for me. There's another key over there, which I could get at the cost of some health. And there is also a bomb there, which I could get at some cost of some health as well. I might just press the button. It's always a good time to press buttons in this mode, but this isn't actually too... All right. 
that's a bit of an issue, I suppose. And then there's that. Okay, this makes it a little bit more precarious to try and blow these up in the correct location. But I'm kind of hoping... Yeah. Oh, God, I missed a shot there at the very end. That's unfortunate. <laughs> really would have liked to blow blown up the shopkeeper, but unfortunately it didn't quite work out. Fair enough. Um... We have some decent stuff here, at least. We have a health up in case we need it, but I think I'm just going to get this wave started. With the uh, Spore Shot, we should be dealing some damage over time to some of these enemies, and we won't have to focus on them so much because they end up dying to the Spore Shot anyway. We just put a couple of those down, and then the poison will more or less do the job. One of them got poisoned from way far away, probably because the Spore Shot actually got transferred from a different enemy, maybe? It's really the only way I can imagine that having gone, because I was not near that area, and somehow the enemy was poisoned. I'm pretty sure the poison effect isn't that big, so... Yeah, it's working out. It is such a good item for this mode, just because you can leave enemies alone after a while. And in any other mode, it's also still just really good, because it ends up destroying enemies as well, but... Since this mode does have extra enemies spawn the longer you're in a room, it can be very helpful to... Just throw it at an enemy and then leave it alone and deal with the other remaining enemies instead. So I'm quite happy with how things are going so far with this particular run. Hoping to get a spore shot on this one because it is nice to get those champ- Oh god, that's actually a lot of enemies. <laughs> it's already the last wave though, so it doesn't really matter too much what happens from this point on. I don't really want to get the speed down the more that I'm moving around, but... Also, I don't particularly want to... Spend 15 coins on one heart, so I'm not loving that either. Um, what I'm actually going to do is go into the curse room and see if there's a bomb in there. Two pills. Since we're Kane, we have the lucky foot, so we're not really going to get ne negative effects. Range up. Could have gotten Horf and just shot myself there again, but I mean, didn't happen that time. But we got I can see forever, so at least we can enter the secret room for... Nine extra coins? Don't mind that. With nine extra coins, I'm even more tempted to just buy the heart, actually. Um, but I don't know. Should I just go for the speed down? Maybe I'll just get the uh, red heart, actually. And then just uh, continue on with the boss fights over here. A little bit annoying of a wave, but not impossible to deal with. Just gotta be a little bit careful here for the lasers and things, but... That's really about it. There is some poison on that boss right there. Might as well speed up. Oh god, I'm really getting more and more, more tempted to actually get the... Uh, the thing there. The speed down. Just because we're ending up with so much speed on this character. Tears up as well. We're getting really good pills. The fact that we're getting pills at all is kind of incredible, but the fact that we're actually... Uh, Playing it as Kane and getting pills and just getting actually good ones. That's just wonderful. Oh my god, so many enemies got Spore shot on. That's wonderful as well. Everything's just great this run. I could, I would really go with more runs like this. Like, my health is still fairly low, but everything else is going just swimming. Don't mind that at all. Uh, Angelic Prism. I mean, it is a health up at least. That's uh, over here, that Eternal Heart. Don't really care about anything else there. Um... So I probably won't do anything with the remainder here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave the... I think I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a summary of that. I think this could actually be really good just because enemies will stay out of my way. That's, uh, that's the only one here that's really tempting. The rest of these things I'm not really that interested in, so I think I'm just gonna leave. 36 coins, not bad to go to enter a floor with, hoping not to get Curse of the Blind. That's really the only thing I can hope for in this mode. That is Glaucoma. Don't mind that. Usually alright. Booster pack. Nah. Could have, have two of diamonds. Queen of hearts. That's like two queen of hearts. Okay. Not surprising. <laughs> uh, two clubs could be alright just because we can enter our secret rooms uh, more, reliably that, more reliably that way. Uh, well, that's a free bomb right there. Might as well. Maybe we could have gotten flight somewhere along the line there, and that would have been a better way to do it, but fair enough. That's a lot of red hearts. Actually, especially with the queens of hearts being where they are right now, I absolutely should go and just play with, with uh, this for a minute here. Because I can almost certainly get that to pay out something useful. 
Queen of Hearts just dropping a whole bunch of red hearts. That is the caffeine pill for even more speed up. So don't mind that. Unidentified pill for bombs are key. We have one of each, so that didn't really matter. Three red chests. Uh, even <laughs> that time I was slightly more prepared for it by being in the middle of the room, you see. Very nice. Tears up again. The pills have been the main part of the build so far, weirdly enough. But yeah, I'll take it. I'll just throw down a queen of hearts here. That's so many red hearts. What's the... It's 1 to 12. Now, maybe I'm not very good at counting. But that doesn't look like 12 to me. <laughs> I don't think I have anything that improves my cards either. So maybe it's 1 to 20 instead of 1 to 12. And that's just an incorrect text or something. Because that that is significantly more uh, than, than 12. <laughs> don't mind it though. Definitely makes life a little bit easier for sure. Don't need to bother with that one anymore. Because of the poison. These are a little bit annoying for sure. But again... They'll die fairly quickly. The growth hormones as well have been just so helpful to get a decent start at the start here. So, all in all, even though my ra all my stats aren't that great and I haven't really bought anything, other than that, we have a lot of good stuff. <laughs> I'm actually kind of tempted to take the uh, the Queen of Hearts with me to just all the way to the bottom because it's not a bad card. Having all that extra red health, it could be really, really good. It would be at least a very strong layer of protection that we would have available, so I definitely wouldn't mind it. Um, so yeah, that's that's probably going to be the plan. Probably going to go into my secret room and then use the two clubs to get two more bombs. And that will probably do. Might as well pick up a heart here, because quite frankly, there's a million. And uh, yeah, no worries. Just no worries whatsoever. I would like more greedier mode runs like this, where I can just fill the entire room with hearts and then just call it a day. <laughs> Anything to make this, this mode a bit easier on myself. I don't mind it too much. I'm gonna throw down some troll bombs and hope that any of them hit. I don't think any of them hit. <laughs> Even the champion, unfortunately, didn't feel like dying there, so that's unfortunate. Definitely are not focusing on the boss either, but it doesn't really matter too much just because it is a boss that shoots a lot of bombs. So hopefully I can get them to attack each other a little bit. I'm also kind of hoping I could use Monster 2's Brimstone to just end this boss immediately, so... It doesn't look like it though. Every time I get one of them in one place, then the other one's going to a completely different area, so... <laughs> it's not been too great so far. I think I'm just gonna start shooting Monstro too, and then hope it kind of ends up working out. Haven't really been careful during this boss fight because of all the health on the floor as well, so... A lot of reasons here not to worry too much about life. Taking a decent amount of damage from these hits as well. I think I'm taking full hearts of damage from some of these. Yeah, it is Monstro too that's doing that. If there was any danger here, then that would have been a problem, but fortunately the game has decided to love me today. <laughs> so no worries there, but still does look scary, and that is something you don't want to be dealing with. He should be dead soon enough, though. There we go. That brings us to one more wave. I will just enter my secret room real quick before I forget all of the shenanigans that I have in mind. Three more keys! <laughs> That's so many free keys. Well, free-ish. I use bombs, I guess, but it wasn't like I'm going to use those bombs on anything else anyway. Two. Two of clubs. Might as well use the High Priestess for whatever spawns here. I don't mind that I did. That was a lot of starting damage right there. And that is uh, almost getting the Carrion Queen to start just flying around. The Spore Shot is just destroying this boss. Very nice. Very good. Both of these are okay. They are both part of Conjoined, but... I don't really have that many heart containers, so I'm just going to leave that alone, but... Still, it wouldn't be terrible. Um, Alabaster box is a little tempting, but it, it is having to put six soul hearts in there. You do get three soul hearts in... Mm, actually, that's probably not even that terrible. Yeah, if we can get soul hearts for sale especially, that would be really good. But then we can just fill that up really easily on the next floor if we could manage that. Uh, it would be 30 coins to fill it. Do I want to have soul hearts here already? Probably not, but... Uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to do that one more time, I think, before going on to the next floor. 
Uh, bad rerolls, but magic mushroom, so I mean, I can't really complain now, can I? I'll just take this with me to the next floor. That is so damn good. Just a free magic mushroom. Like it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Just a whole bunch of extra damage and speed and, and range and everything I could possibly want. Free bombs, seven bombs as well, so that's a pretty decent amount. Range up, finally. Just getting a lot of nice things here, and I appreciate that. Not getting a lot of soul hearts, though, weirdly enough. That is the one thing I'm kind of lacking right now, but... With those seven bombs, I might as well blow up a couple shopkeepers here. Well, there's a free heart right there, black heart. That uh, went into my alabaster box, of course. Definitely wasn't confused by that. Uh, let's reroll this a little bit. I don't want any of that. That's okay. Uh, I wonder if this would work with alabaster box, actually. Well, that would work with alabaster box. Because then the next time I use it, I think it's just free. So I don't even need to worry about that anymore. I've completely forgot about the uh, secret room right here. And we'll just check that out because it has been quite kind to me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, that's pretty interesting. Sworn Brother, Glyph of Balance. I'm not really sure how well Glyph of Balance works in greed mode. But, I mean, I'll give this a shot. If we can get a bunch of soul hearts, and that's just a bunch of extra stat-ups. Probably could have blown up those blue flames, but... <laughs> Uh, sure. I'll take the extra free soul hearts as well. This is perfectly reasonable. This... I'm kind of tempted to get the tarot cloth as well, but we need to get a little bit more money first. Uh, let's just get that as well. We're gonna get a couple more soul hearts when we use our void the next time, so that's pretty nice. Might save that for a while, I suppose. Uh, just in case it ends up being worthwhile. Also kind of forgot I even bought 4.5 volt and then immediately bought another item. <laughs> but it's working out. This is actually a really decent mode to have 4.5 volt in, especially because you spend so much time fighting Ultra Greed at the end of the day that you did get a, a pretty decent bonus at the end of it. Uh, but I'm just going to leave the void alone for now until we're done with these waves, I think. I don't really have a reason to use it immediately, other than slightly more safely dealing with some of these waves, I suppose, because we get some angel room items for it, so obviously that's pretty good. Uh, I don't want that, but that'll take care of itself. God, Spore Shot is so good. <laughs> Need to start stop taking so much damage, I suppose, but probably still gonna be okay, even with the amount of damage we've taken so far. So I don't mind it too much. I could just place a bomb to make life a little bit safer on myself as well, but quite frankly, we are spawning so much Spore Shot here that there is not that much to worry about. Aren't any items here that I would like to put in the void? Something like Book of Belial would obviously be really nice to have in there. Um, let's get that, just for fun. That is a world card, which doesn't really affect me. Game Breaking Bug could be okay if we need to reroll some consumables. Hmm. Don't really want to spend seven coins on it, but still, it could, it could be all right. I should take one of these. Let's just keep on going. Oh, that's a lot of tears that we shot with that <laughs> prism. <laughs> so many of them got stuck on the boss there. That's wonderful. Oh, geez. That's a little bit more bosses than I'd anticipated, but ultimately not too bad. Didn't expect that the spore shots would get, like, duplicated by the, the spinny triangle either, but I guess it does. Don't mind it, but... It is a little unusual for sure. It does look makes like nice colorful spores as well, so there is that to consider. It's a very important part of the item, I would say. That's Skolix. Who's there in the corner? Oh, it's another one. Another Skolix. What's he doing? <laughs> He's stuck. Is he stuck, actually? He might actually be stuck. That's a kind of incredible. That's just it. I mean, of all the bosses that would get stuck in that corner, I didn't expect the one who can actually physically jump all over the place to be the one that would get stuck there. But, I mean, yeah, all right. That seems about right, I suppose. I won't mind that attack at all. Please just die, though. It's not... I mean, this is just sad. <laughs> Even for Skolex, that's just really sad. I already went in here. Uh... Probably could have used a void on all those angel room items, huh? Didn't really even consider that, but that's fine. 
I mean, not leaf is good, but I don't I don't want to bother. So I'm actually just gonna keep on going like this, and hope it works out. More than likely, we can probably get a couple soul hearts on one of the next floor. We can still use the void just to get the um, the what you call it, the extra soul hearts from that, plus the angel room items. If they're particularly rough items, I could also just put them in the void as well. Uh, like that's okay. That's part of spun. Hmm. Hmm. I could eat it. I don't hate it. I will take this. And that's spun, so I might as well. And I got a health up, and really only a range down? Was it a health? No. What? <laughs> might have been a damage down, but because of spun, we got a damage up, and it kind of fixed itself there. Maybe that's what happened. It's a weird one, is what it was. That's a bunch of spiders, but yeah, our build is getting kind of ridiculous, and I can appreciate that. More like this, please. Nah, I mean, <laughs> it's tempting, honestly. I actually wouldn't mind to just go on to the next floor and just end this, but... I should probably do the entire run, huh? That's probably not the worst idea, to just do it. There is a black heart over there. Still just leaving Void alone until I reach an item room that I can actually use it on. But the fact of the matter is... Is that, um... The next floor is not going to have an item room, so maybe I should just use it somewhere. Although I don't mind just having a couple of, um... Soul Hearts available, I suppose, to... Uh, just shoot out whenever I feel like it, so... Maybe I'll just leave it the way it is. Please don't hit me, though. Provided it's not the long range one, they're not too terrible, but they're still fairly annoying. God. Even the spore shot against just invincible enemies is just really nice because it ends up just eventually killing them anyway because of the splash damage, so that's... It's all just so nice. It's such a nice run for sure. You don't often get nice runs like this in greedier mode, and I can appreciate that. Not sure what I want to spend all my money on, but it's probably going to be soul hearts as well, something like that. Don't mind this too much at this stage, just because our damage has been increased by so much and he's not jumping that much, so he ended up just pretty much insta-dying there. <laughs> High Priestess is still here, so I should probably use this on someone, maybe on the next wave. This doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, just throw it in there, very nice. Because of the tarot cloth, it was two of them that hit a bunch of nothing on the second one, I think, but still, it was there. Uh, this is a lot of tears. Doesn't really matter, I suppose, at this stage, but still, it's a lot of tears. Devil deal. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I don't think I want to bother. I I don't. I mean, obviously, Leviathan's good and the Mark's good. It's a speed up. It's a black heart, but I don't know. I don't really care. I don't really care that much. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Yeah, maybe check it out one more time just in case. But no, I kind of like. My health situation, I think. Mom's key's probably not really gonna do much of anything. Tempting to just get it to reroll to get the next item that's on sale, I suppose, but yeah, I'll just leave it. Take it and run away. One floor remains. Hopefully the next floor is gonna have some good stuff on it. And if not, maybe we can get some soul hearts instead from the shop or something like that. That'll be lovely. That's Binky, not bad. It's red health, which is always there. Not quite sure where my secret room is. Might be in the curse room. Might just be in the lower room as well. Could play this thing for a while. Don't really want to bother, though. That's a lot of health. Um, I mean, tear rate's not bad. I might actually just leave Binky there and just buy it at the end or something like that. Wouldn't mind having the Soul Heart available at the end of the day. That's not bad either, because that's gonna hurt a lot of enemies that were already in the room. Got that. Prism is actually being really useful for some of these, just because it stacks up with the... Um, with the Spore Shot, and it just ends up shooting a million of them. It's so good. Such a good combination. Wouldn't mind to see this build the next time we play Gradier Mode, because quite frankly... <laughs> This is very, very manageable. More of this, please. Every, well, maybe with the Lost it would be a pretty miserable experience, but not Leaf was even there, so I could... I probably could have made a workable build with the Lost, 
during this run. Which is preposterous, because it's not the most fun mode to be doing with the Lost, for sure. Just because you spend so much time in one room killing all the enemies, so it's... It can be pretty rough. But so far this is working. Uh, I'm leaving the void for now just so I can probably use it. If we get an angel room, I kind of want to use it there. Not sure if we still can get an angel room, but I'm fairly sure we can. It would be nice. Yes. Just hang out. Don't. Oh, there were two of them. That's why I wasn't dying so quickly, because I was only shooting one of the two. But that's okay, because they're both dead now. Uh, tempted to buy some red health just in case, but... Uh, this will probably be okay. These bosses are all basement bosses, so they end up dying pretty quickly. <laughs> and it's an angel room. Not a bad one either. Holy Grail gives flight and health. Um, circle protection's all right, but I think we're gonna go for option C. Which is we're gonna destroy this angel, and then we're just gonna put everything in the void. And get a whole bunch of stuff. Well, not, not really that much stuff, but it was certainly stuff. I don't think... Do, does Duel even work in this mode? Honestly, not sure. Definitely two items that... Uh, would have been better at any point, but we do get all those stat-ups because of those soul hearts right there, so that's not too terrible. We got 45 coins. Uh, don't mind that either. Let's just see if we can get a little bit more from re-rolling. Uh, maybe an active item? Maybe that would be worthwhile? Not sure what I would want, but... Is there really any... Oh, that's okay. Don't mind extra tier 8. Our tier 8's max now though, so we don't we don't need any more than this, but still. Still don't mind it in, in like principle, I suppose. Mr. Me could be good to blow up some shopkeepers at the end, but that's really about it. Chaos is not really gonna do anything anymore from this point on, unfortunately. What's that pill? I'm drowsy. That could actually be really strong during the fight as well. I should buy that. Um Is that gonna give me one coin? Almost certainly, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. I'll take you, though. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. I really don't. I mean, it, the, the fact of the matter is we don't need to put anything more in our donation machine, so nothing we do really matters, but still it would be nice to occasionally just put some more coins in just for fun, you know, and that's really the main reason I would have. It's greed. We deal so much damage. Hey, it's 50% off. How wonderful. And with our last two remaining bombs, we can get five more coins. How nice. Throw that down there. It's a decent amount of red hearts that we got from that. And if only we had something in our void, because we are just charging that so quickly right now. Immediately took one full heart of damage. Losing the run now would be fairly miserable. Uh, so I would like to avoid it if I can. So I'm going to have to at least avoid a little bit, I suppose. There is plenty of hearts on the floor, obviously, but... It's always possible to die in this game. <laughs> Life finds a way, as they say, so I would rather like to avoid it for sure. But if I can just shoot a whole bunch of spore shots on him while he's blocking from bombs, then that works for me too. He's taking a surprisingly low amount of damage, but that's just how greed is, I suppose. I guess if I circle around him with, with the, uh, the cool prison, then maybe I can do even more damage that way. A little bit tricky when he's on the... Ceiling there, I suppose. Not really a ceiling at the top. But it would have been nice if he worked with me a little bit more here. But honestly, I'm playing this fairly cocky. Like I'm not I'm not particularly trying to do anything fancy here. I'm just shooting until the run is over. There's still so many red hearts on the floor here that honestly I'm not too concerned that things are gonna go wrong. And usually the second phase dies fairly quickly anyway. Comparatively speaking, at least. Losing all my soul hearts, though, so that's unfortunate. Mostly just getting hit by him shooting me, but... It can be kind of tricky to avoid. Look at how quick those keys are dying, for instance. Like, compared to how little damage Greed is taking right here. The keys died almost instantly. And usually, they at least one of them will survive if they're being a little bit tricky, but... Just everything else is just getting destroyed. It's specifically just the boss. That is not exactly feeling death right now, and... I can respect it, I suppose, but it is a little annoying for sure. Alright, I need to stop taking damage now, though. It's getting a little silly. It's 
Getting a little more damage than I would like. A couple bombs my way, but I don't mind that. They're not going to do much of anything. Two nickels right there. And I'll take those happily. The hearts have sort of flown all over the place, which is uh, a little annoying, but again, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> the health is going down at a reasonable pace now, so... And I think Glaucoma may have hit him because he was moving around pretty strangely there. Phase 1 is complete. Phase 2 is getting ready to go. Let's see how much quicker this is going to go. Watch out for the explosions. Watch out for even more explosions. Watch out for this one bomb that's not willing to die. <laughs> I should actually just like play around with this a little bit more because I always use the same strategy of just being really far away from him. I'm curious what you can get away with with some proper dodging here. I might just try that just because we do have a lot of health to work with here and just to see what kind of other attacks that he would do when we're a little bit closer. So I wouldn't mind having him be more in one position and he does tend to jump around a lot more at the moment you are far away from him. So it can be rather tedious, but those dodges can be kind of tricky I suppose when... Um Oh, well, one if you just go underneath them, because that's how you get hurt by the explosions falling down. But also when you're close to a wall, if he throws coins and those coins explode and you just take splash damage instead, so that doesn't really work. But it's nice to get a little bit of practice in, I suppose. But it, is, it can be nasty combinations where he throws bombs first and then tries to hit you with something. It doesn't matter, we've won. <laughs> It was the least impressive fight anyone's ever done, but it, it certainly worked. It, there's still so many hearts on the floor. Like, how many hearts are currently still available here? One, two hearts. I guess that's not that many, but... I mean, I wasn't exactly dodging at the end there. <laughs> I wasn't trying that hard. And I don't mind that. It's just nice to get greedier mode done with on another character. So with that, let's go to the next one. Because Judas usually isn't that difficult. We're getting a regular basement. We have Curse of the Unknown. But that's okay. We get a speed up, which is not the worst thing. Obviously, I wouldn't have minded a key just to maybe get a health up somewhere, but that's just the way it is. That is a seven coin growth hormones, which is seeming pretty tempting. The button, once again, greed mode buttons are almost exclusively terrible, so I'm glad that that uh, hasn't changed much. But I'm hoping that I can survive getting growth hormones, because quite frankly, that would be wonderful. Obviously, starting with the Book of Belial is uh, a pretty good way of clearing these early waves and not to get too overwhelmed. The fact that we're in a regular basement is looking pretty great too, but simultaneously we only have one heart as Judas, so if we get hit by a champion, we're dead. And that is obviously not quite ideal. Every time we use the Book of Belial in extra time, we're going to deal slightly more damage. Won't get the full screen effect every time, but you get the damage up and that's really the main important part. Right now some of these enemies are dying in one shot, so obviously that only makes life even simpler with this character. It does make you not want to leave the room until you are completely done clearing all the waves because of it. But other than that, it's not exactly terrible. But you can see that one over there is a champion. It's slightly bigger than all the other ones. It took two hits and... As such can be a certain danger and an instant run-ender. <laughs> I really don't want that to happen with that growth hormone there. Surprisingly, we got growth hormones twice in a row. But quite frankly, with Isaac, you occasionally just get items twice in a row, and it has been happening rather frequently. <laughs> we had that one day where we got a lot of sci-flies in a row. This time around, we're just getting a lot of growth hormones, and I don't mind it. Uh, probably could have gone for the growth hormones right now, and then still ended up with decent damage during this, but I'd rather just make as much use of that Book of Belial as possible. It's a little bit more dangerous than I would love to play it, but that's uh, fair enough. The second one is the Duke of Flies, which again with this much damage is not going to be that big of a deal. It is not a particularly tanky boss, so no worries there. We haven't taken a single hit yet, and I would like to keep it that way. Um, and I'm gonna do the last one as well, and I'm hoping for the best. Okay, this is... this is okay. It's a little worrying. It's good that we got a speed up, because uh, Lust can be a little bit treacherous for sure. But fortunately, Lust decided to play along and uh, wasn't even going that quickly, so... 
Didn't really matter. Definitely not going to take Devil Deals during this character because I just don't have the health for it. But I will take that. And I will take a health up for 7 coins. And I will take tier 8. And I don't have enough coins <laughs> to actually enter the item room. Um, unless I do this, because I did just buy a health up, so I can actually get away with doing that right there. Probably didn't need to buy the red heart immediately in case there was a health up here, but it was a little spewer. Pill's not going to be as good, but I mean, a pretty fly is a pretty fly. This would have been really nice to get, but unfortunately just don't have the money for it, so... Um, I mean, since I bought that heart, I might as well check this out. Uh, we got little spewer throwing little white circles, which are going to slow down the enemy, which is kind of nice, I suppose. Uh, definitely does have its uses. Wouldn't mind if we could get a little bit of hearts in the next room. Probably shouldn't have gone for that curse room because it ended up being fairly terrible, but there's really only one way to find out. And uh, that's health. That is a lot of safety. Wouldn't have minded picking up that a lot later, but honestly, I don't mind it. Uh, I won't go into the curse room probably with this amount of soul hearts, but that's okay. There is a Pandora's box, which uh, I think I pretty much just want to buy and use on this floor immediately. I think that's a uh, boss room and two soul hearts if I understand correctly what the thing means and what floor we're on. <laughs> I always forget. I always forget what floor is what when uh, looking at that big list and using it with the... Excel floor layout that greed mode uses so Hopefully that's gonna work out, but quite frankly it is definitely a choice I'm going to make where I'm just going to do it so I'm not gonna worry about it too much If all else fails, we'll just get one boss room item. I feel like it's gonna be worthwhile regardless at this point So I might as well But look at the damage we're dealing right now at this early on it is so good Judas is one of the easier characters for greedy mode for sure So it's nice to just get this out of the way and it's nice to get this out of the way on a run where I also managed to win with another character. <laughs> Kane, obviously not really the most difficult character in the world either by any means, but... Still, it's just nice to get some greedier mode out of the way with as many characters as possible, so... I'm just gonna call anyone a win. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. There we go. It's also nice to get that wave, wave cleared before a new wave spawns, because otherwise those rocky enemies would have stayed around for the remainder. And that is not what you want to have happen. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep on going, fight some more bosses. There's one champion that I want to get rid of. The boss itself, not really that big of a deal, but we did manage to catch him in the slow there, so hopefully we can deal as much damage to him as possible because of it. Can be a little bit tricky with these circles. Don't quite shoot forward the same way the other ways do, but look at this. That is so good. Just get this boss in particular to just slow down a lot. It's so useful when you can get stuff like that to happen. Definitely makes life a lot easier. So I don't mind that. I'm just gonna try and use it on these spiders as well. Not really sure how much it affects spiders, but apparently more than I had anticipated. <laughs> so I don't mind that. Kind of had this vague expectation that spiders being spiders would figure out their way around the white goo that they are throwing around as well, but I guess not. I guess if a spider steps in another spider's web, then that's just the way things are gonna go as well. So shouldn't really be worried too much about how things are going with this particular boss right here and instead be happy that it's already over all right so this is pretty fun doesn't really do that much but it's fun this is uh, i don't know if this does anything but it's two soul hearts and this is a very minor damage up and a health up so they're not really any of them really bad but this gives me piercing tears and i do like me some piercing tears plus they look really cool so there is that to consider as well okay so we're taking this uh, not really too interested in that. Don't mind the free health up and the health regeneration as well. Uh, am I once again going to skip an item room to get a little bit of more spun progress? I think the answer to that is almost certainly going to be yes. Um, or am I going to risk it? Hmm. How much do I care about spun? A little bit for sure. Yeah, it's, it's enough. <laughs> gonna just check the curse room anyway, even though I said I wasn't gonna do that. Unfortunately, complete garbage. But we do have a very quick movement speed right now, so that's wonderful. Probably could have entered and left that curse room uh, without taking a second hit if I was quick enough there, but I didn't really move. <laughs> so, yeah, so much for that. At least we got managed to get a tears up there. 
And honestly, it doesn't really matter that much as this character. Quite frankly, a lot of this managed to do itself, so I'm not really too concerned about life. We'll probably end up buying that range up just to make life a little bit easier, but quite frankly, things are going okay. Just a random damage up lying around as well. Any damage up works pretty great com combined with that extra Book of Belial damage anyway, so... Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. I wonder if these tears don't get deflected by some of the champions, actually, because that one just flew through that one that usually makes the tears fly away. Or maybe I just misread what champion that was and might have been one that actually sucks enemies towards or sucks you towards it or something like that. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day, I suppose. It would be a nice thing to know, but it's not really going to change my mind whether or not I'm going to take the item at the end of the day. So I'm not really too concerned about it, but still. Weird little hit there. Didn't expect to take damage there, and that's always when things get a little bit more awkward around these parts because I just... If I can't figure out where damage comes from, then I usually start getting a little worried. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing, like, some creep on the floor or something like that. Maybe I just missed an enemy entirely. But I have taken damage from spiders, for instance, where I just took, like, four hits in a row because I just couldn't see the spider or something like that, and it's really frustrating when that happens, so... Good to be on your guard when you suddenly take damage from something. Maybe just shoot around randomly at times as well, just to make sure that if there is anything still there, at least you'll probably get it that way. This shouldn't take too much longer though. Bloat with this build is not a particular challenge, because quite frankly, we are destroying these enemies. Two bloats on the other hand would be a problem, but fortunately that's not the case either. Hoping that I'm hitting these enemies. Nope. Oh, but they are hitting bloat though. <laughs> That is a pretty good strategy for that. It wasn't intended, but it worked out. All right, so Dead Dove will give me flight, but that's really about it. The Stairway is obviously pretty great because it allows me to maybe get some Ranger Room items. It might get me some good stuff as well. Uh, we'll buy this, and I think I'll just leave it alone just so I can I have enough money to use on the Stairway. Simultaneously with the Stairway, I haven't tested this, but I'm guessing you can just do the for like all the waves before going up the stairs. Oh, that's just cruel. <laughs> oh, you can't do that. I mean, I have no way to get a flight before this. I don't think there's any way for me to get a hangman card, but I've that's just not cool. <laughs> I can appreciate it, but geez, who does that? Who put who puts stairs in water? You know I can't swim. But fair enough. Uh, two red hearts there. That's all right. Hmm. I'll just buy myself a key and be on my way. I guess there's not really anything else I would want from that. A mega bean is a active item. I uh, should have not done that. Should have used that in the uh, shop because I think you can destroy shopkeepers with that. But. Uh, I had no thoughts about the whole situation, if I'm being honest. I just wanted to use the, the big bean. <laughs> I'm not too concerned. That It might not be immediately obvious, but I'm not overly concerned about how things are going right now, just because uh, it's it's a, just a pretty standard Judas run. Obviously, I'm getting some items which are very lucky, but I would argue that if any character would most reliably do this mode, then it's either Lilith or Judas for sure, just because you get those extra bonuses from their very, very powerful active items. And the fact that we just got some extra toys in there from to play with is, is a nice bonus, but not immediately necessary if you play well enough. Simultaneously, I have taken a decent amount of damage today, so maybe I should be thankful that we're, we're getting some decent stuff here and there for sure. And I think in a way I am. As I have said many times before, any character that completes this mode is is a happy character. So even if the character is perhaps a little easier than others, it's still very much appreciated when the game works with me. So all in all, I'd call this a nice day. <laughs> Alright, just a couple of enemies remaining. Not much to worry about here. Just a couple bosses, hopefully. A couple poop bosses, which... Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Usually these show up in the basement after all, so... Don't mind that. The red poop could be interesting, but it's all in the corner, so it's probably not going to be doing that much of anything. That Viz ended up probably dealing more damage than it could ever really anticipate. And all in all, just another part of a good day. Two carrion queens with this build, I'm not particularly worried about either. 
Especially with these slowdown circles, they're not really gonna do much of anything. I was kinda hoping the red poop would do something at least here, but it doesn't look like it. But this appears to be working fairly well. They're just going back and forth, and I can very easily take him down this way, so fair enough. Don't mind that. We get a double deal with Gimpy. Almost certainly worthwhile. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm gonna stop Angel Rooms from this point on, but there's only two floors remaining, so hoping that's fine. And uh, I think I'm just gonna leave. I mean, the health up would be nice. But let's see what's in our stairs. Maybe we can actually reach it the next time. What was in my item room? Oh, the Mega Beam. Yeah, all right. Let's just see what's over yonder in the next floor. Hopefully we can get a little bit more damage or something like that. Maybe we can get a Sacred Heart from the staircase. That would be ideal. That's still not terrible. Uh, I'll take this. I might get the Eternal Heart, you know? Just have a little bit of extra red health. It's probably not too terrible. Um, yeah, I'll just take everything. <laughs> it's actually just a really nice shot. Let's see if there's some free keys in here. Just coin purse. Uh, not really too interested in pills. My stats are pretty good. Balls of steel would be nice, but everything else wouldn't really be worthwhile, I feel. So I'm not really too concerned about that. Cannot get any bombs, unfortunately. Unless I can get explosive diarrhea from one of the pills, I suppose. That's really the only thing I can think of that would work in terms of a bomb. I'm just gonna try it. Hopefully none of these are health down. Are you also, we're gonna change our uh, little friend here, I suppose, a little bit as well. Every time we use a pill, it's going to be uh, a little bit more dangerous for sure. Or a little bit different every time. There's a couple of different forms that this particular creature can take on after all. Struggling a little bit with this chest. I'm actually just going to put it over here and if it is a explosive diarrhea then at least I'll be able to just quickly run from there onwards to the place with the bombs. I found pills. One pill remains. And it is... Power pill. Well... Might as well, I suppose. That's not too terrible. That's surprisingly good. That's about as expected. <laughs> it is still a greed mode button at the end of the day, even if it isn't in the shop. I would like to keep this. Uh, I did definitely hear myself take damage, but I'm not sure if I actually lost any red health in my bone heart. I don't know if there was several, like, half hearts in here or something that I happened to pick up one or something like that, but... Fair enough. Let's just move that a little closer. Did that wrong. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, nope, still not quite far enough into the door. Hey, we did it. Very nice. Very good. Okay, maybe there's bombs inside this item room. I'm just curious to see what's going to happen. <laughs> Definitely not a safe idea, but certainly one that I'm willing to try. Okay, let's give this a shot. At this point, again, I'm not overly concerned. The invisible enemies are all dead, so that's nice. The enemies are dying fairly quickly, still using that Book of Belial as much as I can. Definitely want to make sure that I have the Book of Belial available when uh, I am doing that final greed mode fight after all, but other than that, not much concern going on here. <laughs> I think the other ghost, if there was another ghost, is already dead as well, so that's good. These waves are getting destroyed. Ooh, quad shot? Quad shot or triple shot is happening right now, and it is fairly effective. Ooh, <laughs> we're getting some interesting combinations of events here. Don't mind that. And a shield from the Celtic Cross, I believe. So that's really nice. Just a boss that drops coins, that's always appreciated. And I think I can just let you run into those flames over there a couple times. There we go. <laughs> it's an interesting way to kill a boss for sure. There's a lot of red hearts on this room as well, probably because of Gimpy. So as long as we can keep that, um, the uh, skull heart at the end there, that's nice. Oh, I lost the eternal heart because the bone heart made it all the way to the front of the of the queue there. Oh, that's actually kind of unfortunate, but I'd argue that the bone heart has already paid out for itself so much because of all the red hearts that we're getting from uh, Gimpy there. 
But I guess it doesn't really matter that much, but still, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. Wouldn't have minded the extra bit hard container for sure. But fair enough. That's a bunch of deaths, but it is the ones that spawn... Socks. Oh. Okay, definitely want to keep this bone heart down. Only need to pick up half a uh, red heart every time to keep it available, but now I picked up a soul heart. So now we have some protection before we lose our bone heart. So, yeah, it's a, it's a choice. Double deal with Berserk. Don't mind that, actually, but... Not, like, super interested in it. Lump of Coal could be good. Yeah, I'll go with Lump of Coal. I think that could be pretty good. 33 coins. Uh, not really that much interesting stuff over here that I can actually acquire. Want to have some money available for the... Uh, the thing? The staircase on the next floor? So I don't really want to spend 15 coins and then see another item that I want to buy. Although, again, I could probably just do the waves, but I, I continuously forget about that whole mechanic. Uh, so I'm, <laughs> I'm only shooting sideways. We have the whiz tears. Haven't I lost a green mode run to that before? <laughs> to suddenly that happening. <laughs> Me being confused by it and then just getting hit and dying. I do recall that happening. Curse of the blind, really. Truly the nastiest curse you can get during this soul locket once again. So definitely going to buy some of these soul hearts to get those little stat ups there. Um, I'll take that as well. I guess at this point I'm mostly just interested in soul hearts and there are soul hearts for sale. So even though there might be items here, I don't know what they're going to be. I can't re really reroll anything. So instead, let's just do this. Get that tinted rock for another soul heart. Bunch of money. No concerns at all. Just good times and darkness that will truly destroy whatever comes our way. Uh, provided there's not too many homing tears flying in our direction, then we should be okay. Piercing tears more or less destroying everything from a distance here, which is wonderful. Occasionally the $3 build causing whatever tear effect we can think of. And little spewer probably doing his best also. So all in all pretty good. We can fill up our health entirely before we go to the last floor, so that's really nice. 4.5 volt battery would have been really nice as this character as well, just because you can end up using the Book of Belial a lot during the final battle, but... Honestly, the build we have is more than sufficient to take care of whatever comes our way, so I don't mind it too much. Did I press the button by accident, or...? No, we're already just at the final wave. Alright. Pretty good. Nope, nope, definitely press the button. Because <laughs> this is not exactly what one would call a boss wave, but that yeah, doesn't matter. We have changed the fact that that would... Cause you to uh, get less money, I do believe, according to the wiki. And I do hope that the wiki is not lying to me. I am getting a little bit low on soul heart, so I should probably stop taking damage all over the place. Because I'd like to keep that eternal heart at least. But that's really the only thing I have in mind. Although, I mean, I'll either spend five less coins or not on on things, on soul hearts in the shop, I suppose, at the end of the day. But it's, it would be nice if we could retain it. So let's do our best here. We're nearly done. Occasionally using a little spewer there as well. Just to deal a little bit of extra damage. One wave remains. We get the Celtic Cross Shield, which does last a while. So we are entirely okay. One last devil deal with Krampus. Never mind. We are not entirely okay. <laughs> Perfectly lost that Eternal Heart at the very end to the one creature that you never want to see in this. But, you know, fair enough. We get... Krampus' head, probably because we already got the, the thing. I would rather have Book of Belial for the more damage instead. So I'm just going to take a couple soul hearts here, get a little bit of damage up, get a little bit of speed up, and get whatever other stat ups we can think of. And there was another soul heart over here. I guess I might as well just pick that up, huh? Soul of Lilith. Don't hate that. <laughs> little brimstone of all things as well. It's uh, pretty good. I guess I might as well just keep buying these soul hearts because I don't really care about my donation machine anyway. And then that happens. <laughs> there we go. That's about all I'm willing to spend. But I'd, I'd argue that that's probably a pretty good way to use that soul locket. Oh, forgot about the staircase that's on this floor. <laughs> I forget that that's a thing that happens. But it's Curse of the Blind again. So we don't know what we're missing out on. And I'm okay with that. No worries. Instead, let's just destroy these final greeds. 
and not worry about the fact that whatever items in there is it was probably bad it was probably a bad item you know don't don't need it let's just win and leave instead one more use of the book of belial couple of little spewers and little brimstones occasionally that little whiz coming back to bite me in the butt and reminding me of my own hubris <laughs> no worries we're gonna be okay i'm sure provided that attack doesn't bite me in the butt i think we're gonna be fine that's really the the main worry <laughs> of all the attacks that we can do that's still the one attack that i'm always most concerned about just because those coins are so random but then again, the, the whiz tier attack is also getting pretty strong right now, so you know... He's pretty much just doing everything I'm worried about in life, so it's, uh, it's a worrying one. But we're still just gonna do our best to make what we got. What is happening? <laughs> Suddenly was flying all over the place. He's throwing me all over the place. What is happening there? Is there something here? No. What? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen that before. He's just continuously doing this attack. That's actually kind of rude. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't, like, pushing up either. It was just genuinely flying me all over the place. But maybe I'm just not familiar with what that attack actually does. <laughs> I'm used to it dealing damage, but I didn't expect him to just throw me across the room like that. I never thought... I mean, I, I, I've seen what kind of muscles this, this boss is working with, but I never expected them to use them in that kind of capability, I suppose. You learn a thing or two while you're fighting this boss. Oh, I think it might just be a $3 tier effect, you know? Because some of these enemies are getting thrown all over the place as well. Not sure what effect that would be, but some kind of magnet maybe? Lodestone or something? Lodestone shouldn't affect me, though, so I'm not... I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to do my best to fight this fight and then just call it a day. I should really stop taking $3 bill during this mode, though. <laughs> Ooh, head of the keeper. That's a little bit of extra money, so at least we can put something in our donation machine, as useless as it may be. Definitely only makes life more difficult because he's going to end up healing with all the coins that we're dropping all over the place, but you know, don't worry about it. At the end of the day, what's more important? That we get a nice, like, high number in our donation machine, or that the boss is easy to fight? And obviously it's the nice high number in the donation machine, er like, all day, every day. So, no concerns. Also... I mean, quite frankly, we've gotten hit like once during this fight so far, so I'm honestly not too concerned with how things are going at this particular stage. Got hit by a greed head there, I suppose, because, once again, my hubris, but, I mean, even with all that going on, I'm not overly concerned. And I can, I can appreciate a run like a greedier mode run where I'm just having a good time. I also quite like the way these tears look when the, the screen's all white for that very brief moment that he turns into uh, his second form there. That's a lot of coins. I think those were mostly from shopkeepers as well. They weren't even from me. Not 100% sure, but it did seem that way. There's a couple half hearts over here as well, so we can probably fairly reliably heal up as well. Kind of just walked into that bomb, but you know. Mostly mean that I can reliably heal up in case uh, we get to that bone heart, because that is... Well, it does, there's just a lot of hearts, and if we can just keep that bone heart, that is just a lot of health. But quite frankly, if things are going the way they are currently going, then I'm not overly concerned about ever reaching the point where we have to use that bone heart, I suppose. <laughs> We're at 36 coins already, though, so that's going pretty well. Don't mind that. Uh, do mind this a little bit. Because I'm not sure where he's jumping to. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, we got a little soul heart and a little bit of range up, I think. Or luck up, I think, maybe? Probably luck up, because the range up is probably from the $3 bill instead. But still, that's mine. That's my money. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but still, it matters a little. It matters just enough that it's worthwhile to go for all that money. There we go. Eye of Belial in the basement. I have this strange feeling that I've already, like this weird feeling of deja vu right now. I feel like I've already unlocked that item on this save file, but clearly I haven't because I just got it. Either way, that is two more greedier mode victories. That just leaves uh, Polaroid on Kane and the Mother and the Lamb on Judas. So just really. 
Very doable things, all in all. Mother's obviously a little tricky, but the other things are not too worrying, so... Nearly got those characters completed as well, so it's a nice little bit of progress for sure. Either way, hope y'all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll be doing another run with a different character. And I hope to see y'all there. Bye-bye.